hi guys welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna speak about um, what's going on in the media today about actors who are not black playing black cartoons I don't know if you know about Mike Henry and also Kirsten Bell both of them have decided to step down from their roles um, in the TV shows basically Cleveland for Mike Henry and Kirsten Bell for Central Park now I think it's very important to understand that representation really does matter so what I'm basically saying is that say for example you're a young black girl me I'm a young black girl from Hackney seeing somebody else in a higher position um, who is just like me grew up the same background really does inspire young people or really does change people's perceptions on where they can go in their lives you know what I mean if you don't see people in the position that you wish to be in then you don't think that your dream can come true so it's very important so regarding these two actors who are you know they're American they're white American they decided to step down from their roles basically where they play two black characters one is a biracial character which Kiss and Bill plays and the other is Cleveland which I'm sure loads of people know about um, from Family Guy and he is voiced by Mike Henry now Many years ago, when I used to watch um, Family Guy, I used to love Family Guy. I mean, it's funny, cheeky, do you know what I mean? Adult humour. And um, knowing the fact that Cleveland was, you know, voiced by um, a white actor doesn't really, like, initially didn't really bother me because I loved the character and I loved the fact that, you know, there was a black guy in, um, you know, the cartoon. But, like, I believe that what these two actors have done is basically to say that you know to be about the black lives matters movement and just basically to say that you know if there is a black character or a character that is mixed between that has black in in her or him as a character that it should be voiced by a black person so it can be more authentic and i just feel like many years ago obviously there wasn't loads of people getting these jobs these acting jobs like you know black people you have a play like a nurse you know if not you wouldn't even exist inside tv and film and as society is growing we can tell that we can see that things are changing you know people want to see themselves in tv um and diversity is so important so they're giving an opportunity to black people to be like okay they're gonna do um characters if the character's black let the character be voiced by a black actor and um yeah so that it's authentic now a lot of other people have this counter argument saying you know if a black person is playing all these characters then maybe they can't play white characters like say for example shakespeare and stuff like that now it's a different type of thing um social is a different type of thing in my opinion black actors can play any kind of role basically and so can white actors but the difference is when a white actor takes a role from a black person it means that that's more roles that a, a black person could have played that is not they're not getting that opportunity whereas if a white actor decides that is not allowed to play a black character they still have more opportunity so that's the difference basically um i remember when james bond was gonna be played by idris elba or there was conversations about that and people were you know a lot of people was upset about it black people included sometimes and some people were very like up for it do you know what i mean um where i believe where there's certain characters like say for example you're playing um beyonce beyonce can't be played by a white person because beyonce is not not white she's not white do you know what i mean so i think where it comes into play where you're playing these characters where you're trying to be authentic of that character their culture and stuff i believe it definitely needs to be played by um a black person or whatever the, the culture of the person is but when it's kind of like stuff that's you know imaginary Bear in mind, when people write a script, yeah, it's not real, you know. But obviously when we watch it, we feel like it's real. But, like, so that basically means any any character can be played by any character. So I just kind of feel like it's a great thing what Mike Henry has done and what um, Kirsten, what Kirsten Bell has decided to do as well because it's opening, opening doors for other people, um, people who are black basically to play these roles and say that it's not okay do you know what i mean and give them the opportunity these are this is what causes change um it's very important to me because obviously it's the industry that i'm in but i'm thinking other sectors i don't know i can't really speak on them but 
representation, like I said before, really does matter. Um, so yeah, I, I'm happy to hear that, you know, black characters are going to be, you know, voiced by, you know, black people. And I think that should be for all different cultures as well. It should be for, if you're that culture, that should be you because that's a distinct, you know, or you're going to be distinctively authentic to that character. So let it be played by that person. Now, I'm not saying that, say, for example, I'm a black girl. I wasn't born in Australia. I was born in London, Hackney. Um me playing um you know an australian girl doing a voice actor um i wouldn't mind doing the character but i'm not from australia or anything like that i could you know stretch my acting ability to do that but that's not who i am i just feel like bear in mind the problem is is that black people are not getting the same equal opportunities as white counterparts and that's not fair it should be equal and that's what needs to change um so yeah i'm glad that you know the industry is changing it needs to be more diverse i'm tired of seeing the same old stories we want to see more do you know what i mean and also everyone wants to be represented you know um like when i was growing up i used to watch um cartoons i used to watch dora explorer like lord knows i'm not spanish uh, i don't come from spain like i said i come from hackney london but watching Dora Explorer, that really inspired me because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a part of this culture now. Do you know what I mean? And it's very important for young people to see different cultures because, you know, like when I was younger, because I was exposed to Spanish culture, I, as an adult, I like Spanish culture. Do you know what I mean? Not to say that I'm Spanish, but I now understand, you know, a little bit more. I'm not ignorant to that culture. Do you understand? So it really does, it's very important to know from, you know, it's really important to start from a young age to introduce all different cultures and regarding this cartoon these cartoons it is important that they are you know the characters that are kind of representing a certain type of culture i.e a black culture should be shown by a black person and vice versa for different different cultures so i'm very excited that things are changing in that direction anything that you want to contribute to this conversation please put in the comments down below and also subscribe if you like this video. Alright, thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye.